I saw Red State, Blue State, which is a fantastic show. Thanks. Where you basically make the argument that maybe our country needs to be two countries. Yes. Yeah. We need to break up. Yes. At this point, yeah, we need to break up because it was built on a flimsy premise of uh, a country based on debate, dissent, disagreement. That sounds like a toxic, negative place. I wouldn't want to live. <laughs> yeah. That's like I'm starting a bar. I want to open a bar for Red Sox and Yankee fans. <laughs> and... <laughs> they can debate. Deb it's going to be a bucket of blood, like this place. You, uh, you, and it was filmed, and it's going to be CNN's first comedy special. Yes. Did you, uh, at any point in your career, did you see the trajectory being uh, towards CNN? I did not. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm happy it. Uh, I'm happy it went that way. I'm know? very excited for people to see it. Yeah. Uh, how have Republicans and Democrats? I know you took it everywhere. Did they react differently to the show? Well, I only no. I, oh, I, you only did it here. I only did it here. Oh, so how no was Republicans that? Republicans in New York, really? Yeah. So you know. <laughs> So you only really got the one bounce on yeah, it. Yeah, I got yeah. the one bounce. But they liked it. Yeah, that's good. So, yeah. Uh, what do you, I, I know you're one of my favorite people on social media. Uh, how do you feel like social media is as a, as a climate for comedians right now? Well, everybody's trying to be funny on social media except comedians. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. decided yeah. to become the, you know, the voice of a nation. <laughs> and um, the, uh, yeah, I feel like a lot of people have been weighing in on comedy, which is really great to hear. Um, people say... First of all, punching down. Let me just start with punching down. Comedy is play fighting. It's never been punching. <laughs> Second of all, would have been nice, either a bigger laugh or even anything. Um, but, but the other point is, the, uh, yeah, is everybody always goes, people say, you know, you have to evolve as, with the audience as a comedian. And that's true, that's why I get into uh, comedy, to reinforce mainstream opinion. <laughs> so. Apparently, people are missing the point of comedy. <laughs> Not supposed to march in lockstep. With, uh... What do you think about uh, the idea? I think a lot of people right now uh, uh, are saying compromise. We need more compromise. Do you think that's actually a, is that a, a, a way forward? Well, I mean, we can't, you know, we, we can't, com I mean, compromise is a great idea, except nobody ever compromises. I yeah. mean, it's, nobody's ever compromised in the history of the world. I mean, this country, that's why I say we need to break up, because uh, either that or it's going to be a, a civil war, you know? Yeah. And civil war in this country, you know, the Battle of Six Flags. You don't want to see that. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to see that. <laughs> oh. How do you feel I, uh, when you see this field of, of Democrats, uh, who I think were, you know, 20, 20 plus? Uh, well, the Democrats are play. It's so funny how everybody just goes right into everybody's hands. Like, the Democrats are like, this guy is not presidential. We got to get rid of him. And then he's like, ah, look at these nerds calling me not presidential. Ah. And they're like, yeah, you tell him not. You know what I mean? They need to stand out. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, need, you can't be up there like, you know, with this kind of like tight lip, like we have to stop that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I understand you want to make your policy points, but you got to be a little, Elizabeth Warren can't be up there. She looks like she's in the fourth row at Prairie Home Companion. <laughs> you know, she should get like Elton John glasses or somebody should get like a, you know, maybe somebody should get a neck tattoo. <laughs> a neck tattoo, you know? yeah. Do you feel like they should try to out-Trump Trump? Do you yeah. think that's the way you do it? Yeah, you got to go in there and just start taking hit to a new level. Go, yeah, right. He's not going to help. I'll help you. You want a 401k? I'll get you a 501k. <laughs> you let me be president, you have a 601k by the time I'm done. This guy's nothing. Look at him. Ah, you know. <laughs> do you feel like, uh, uh, are there uh, issues the Democratic candidates are taking on that you think are, are well, strong? Yeah, no, it's very, no, they're very, it's so funny because Trump, you're like, oh, this is going to be a cakewalk. I mean, Democrat can get up there, you know, first debates, and you're like, oh, they're just going to walk through, just go, and they're like, uh, first order of business, uh, felons should vote. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm saying, your first thing you come out of the gate, <laughs> felons should vote. I said, oh, you mean like people that did their crime, now they're... No, we mean in jail. <laughs> oh, I get it. You mean like low level, like misdemeanor? No, rapists and murderers too. Okay. <laughs> there, and they're going to wonder, guess what? 2020, what a fantastic election. <laughs> Fantastic day. <laughs> I never had a chance. <laughs>